Hey guys, this is Coach Shala, and here I'm back with another lesson on what selection sort is and how it works, and how we can implement it on our code. So, selection sort is a way of sorting in which we can put the values in a list the way we want it to. So, for example, if we have a list of numbers, we can sort them from their values, so least to greatest, or greatest to least. And how it works is that it finds the smallest value in our list and it swaps it with the first value. And then it finds the second smallest value in our list and swaps it with the second value. Then it finds the third smallest value in our list and swaps it with the third value and so on. So an example of how it works is shown in this kind of game. So if we start it, it's going to show the value of the first card, which is 2. Then it's going to see if another card, if it's le less than it or is it more than it. So we can see 2 is less than 3. So then it's going to move on and it shows the queen. So 2 is less than queen, then it's going to move on. Uh, it's going to move on. It's going to move on. It's going to try and find a value which is less than 2. But when I won't be able to find it, it's going to see the next, the second card, which is 3. So as Q is not less than 3, it's going to move on, it's going to move on, it's going to move on, until it finds a value which is less than 3. So 2, 2, it's less than 3. So it's, um, it's going it's to select the 2, and then it's, it's going to see if there is another value which is less than 2. When it finds out there is no less value less than 2, it's going to swap it with the second card. Like you, as, you, as you see, it swapped it with the second card. Then it's going to see if it can find a value which is less than Q. And 5 is less than Q, so it's going to consider 5. It's going to see if it can find another value which is less than 5. And it keeps on going until it finds a value which is less than 5. So as you can see, 3 is less than 5. So now it's going to consider 3, and it's going to see if any value is less than 3. As there's no value less than 3, it's going to swap it with the third value, like, like this. So we've got a brief understanding of how selection sort works. So um, to test this and to implement it in our code, we're going to open up a new Visual Studio. Um, new Visual Studio file. I'll just delete all of this because I was doing this in preparation for that video. So, first of all, we want an array. We're going to introduce a variable, r, and we're going to tell the computer that this is an array with these square brackets. We're going to put values inside the array. So, we can put any numbers, for example, I'll put, I've put some um, unarranged list of numbers. So I'll just go on and put quite a few of these in. Then we, we have our array and the array contains a list of numbers. So now we want to sort these using selection sort. For this, we're going to need a for loop. So we're going to make a for loop. And in the for loop, we're going to introduce a variable var k. And we're going to give it a value of 0. We're going to make it run till k is less than or equal to the length of the array. So the length of the array is 5 because we have 5 values in the array and we're gonna um, we're gonna write till k is less than or equal to adult length minus 1 because the index of the array starts from 0 then we're gonna increment the value of k now we're gonna have to use a nested for loop and I will tell you that I'll tell you why we use a nested for loop later on in the video. We're going to introduce a variable i and we're going to give it a value of k, which is 0. We're going to make it run till i is less than or equal to 
Ooh, what is this capital? I dot length minus one and I'll increment it. So the reason why we have put a nested for loop is because we'll have to see, we'll have to find the least number present in the array. So first, in the first for loop, which has the variable k, it's gonna put, it's gonna move through the number. So it's just gonna grab the first number in the array, which is which is r0, in this case 9. Then because of the next for loop, which has a variable i, it's gonna move on to these, to the numbers in the array. So it's first gonna consider 21, then 15, then 92, then 25. Then what we want to do next is when it sees the next ver the next value in our list in our array, it has to consider it has to find out if the r k is more than or less than r i plus one. So I want to make my list from largest to smallest. So the first number in our array should be ninety two. So I'll add an if condition, and then I'll write if our k, if our k is less than our i plus 1, then it's going to swap those two around. So, so to swap those two around, I'll need to introduce another variable. Just introduce another variable. I'll give it a name of G. Then I'll I'll give I'll I have to swap these two around. So I have to swap R K the value of R K to the value of R I plus one. So to do that, I'll need to give. Uh, I'll need to give the value of R K. To the value to g, so for that I have to write g is equal to r k. So the value of r k will go to g. Then I'll have and then I'll write r k is equal to r i plus one. So the value of r i plus one will go into r k. Then I'll give the value of g into r i plus one. So r i plus 1 is equal to g. So now we've successfully completed the swapping of these two. And first of all, let's see if it works. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain the whole code to you. So the selection sort is selected. And then we we'll press it. And then we'll... Okay, first we need to um, display it in our console. So console.log r, save it, and run it again, press right, uh, right click, inspect, go to console over here, and click, click this array, I mean click this arrow, and we'll see that our array is sorted, 92, 25, 21, 15, 9. So now it's time that I explain all these to you because some of some people may not understand this code. So I'll go through from the beginning. We have introduced an array, we've given it values. Then we've made a for loop and we've incremented the value of k. So right now the value of k is equal to zero. Now very, uh, in the next for loop, in the next for loop, the value of i is 0 because k's value is 0, so i's value is 0. So, it's going to move on and then r1, r i plus 1, I'll just comment it, r i after looping around the second time, its value will be r1, which, is, which value is 21. So it's going to see if our k, which right now 
uh, k is equal to 9. It's going to see if 9 is smaller than our i plus 1. So it is smaller, then it's going to swap those two around because of this code which we've written. So when it swaps it around, the array will be 21, 9, 15, 92, and 25. This will be the array after looping around once. Then it's going to go back to the computer, it's going to go back to the top, it's going to increment the value of k. So after it's incremented the value of k, k will have a value of 1. Now, i's value will also be 1, and i will be incremented, so our i, which is our 2, our 2 is 15. Our i is 15, and our k is... is um, Wait, our k is our 1, so our 1 will be 9 because of our, of our new array which we formed over here after looping around once. So, it's going to see if our i is smaller than our... It's going to see if our k is smaller than our i, pl our I plus 1. So, it's not because a 9 is not smaller. I mean, <laughs> 9 is smaller than 15, so it's going to swap those two around. So then our new value will be, these two will be swapped. So this will be our new array. Then uh, the value of k will be incremented to 2. And our i will be... Um, our i will actually be 15, but because we over here we've written our i plus 1, we'll consider, it, we'll consider it as 92 because our i is 2 and our i plus 1 is 3, so um, our 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4 because the index starts from 0 is 92. 92, and our k, which is now 2, it will be 15. It's going to see if our k is less than our i plus 1, which it is. Then it's going to swap those two around. Oh, our k is not 15. Our k is 9. My apologies. Because I have 2 is 1, 2, 3, 9. So then it's going to see if our k, which is 9, will be less than 92 which it will be, so then it's going to swap these two around, so 92 will come into the place of 9. And it's going to keep on doing that till these two also get swapped. So this will be the new array, and then keep running, keep running till we've got the sorted array, which is 92, 25, 21, 15, and 9 over here. So I hope you've understood it and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comments and I'll see you again in my next video.